Mic Recorder can simulate a long key press with a key repeat. Now let's check how this is done. Okay, first of all, we need a focus macro. to change focus to the target application which you want to control. Then we want to simulate a key press. So it's a key press here. And the key press option would be need to set to key down. And then here you select the key. Let's use a plus. And you don't use count because this is something different. In this case, Mac Recorder itself would press and release and press and release the key press option. But that's not what you want. You want to repeat this key down action for a specific amount of time. So first of all, you would need to give it a custom label. You can choose any text just to address this specific macro action. And then you add a repeat. And you want to repeat the key down. So you jump to my key down. And this is what you select here. And then you specify the time you wish to repeat the foregoing key down action. Let's say three seconds. And after this, you don't want to go to the end, but to the next action, which follows the repeat action. Because to keep everything clean, you add another key press action and you release the key. So you simulate a key up. And of course, if you press down the plus button before, you need to release the plus button. That's it.